Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in my previous lectures I already explaining about classification of the fits then also a clearance fit. Now I would like to explain for this lecture for the interference fit. So what happens for the interference fit? Just you can see the one kind of definition kind of theory that will be the minimum permissible diameter of the shaft is greater than the maximum allowable diameter of the hole. So just you can concentrate over here what it means that. So the minimum permissible diameter of the shaft. So that will be the minimum permissible diameter of the shaft. That will be greater than just you can see that will be making a difference greater than the maximum allowable diameter of the hole. So what happens for assemble of the two systems for A and B. So that will be providing some interference. So just you can see this distance it will be called as a interference kind of fit. So once again the minimum permissible diameter of the shaft is greater than the maximum allowable diameter of the hole that will be called as a interference fit. So in this type of the fit the shaft and the hole members are intended to be attached permanent and used as a solid component. So once you fix B into the A or a component with the B. So that will be making a permanent joint or you can say permanent use of that particular component. So that will be making a solid components. So that will be making a permanent joints. So basically the examples that will be used for drill boost. So basically into designing of drill jigs. So the boost material that will be inserting into that particular jigs for increasing the life of the drill jigs. So this drill boost that will be inserting into the existing drill. So just you can see that will be the one kind of system of the jigs. So if you use the boost material here that will be the existing hole and this boost so that will be the boost material for second one that will be the boost material so boost material either that will be the rubber materials or metallic material depends upon its applications so this boost material that will be intentionally insert into the plate so this will be considering as a one kind of plate G so plate jigs that will be including with the bushes for increasing the life of the jigs. So this boost that will be inserting into the drill jigs. Second examples the cylinder liner into the jig plates into the block. So these two it will be the examples by using or interference fit by the assembles of the A and B. And one more things that will be the minimum interference and the maximum interference. So when it will be happening. So just you can see when the minimum interference just you can find that will be the difference between the maximum size of the hole that will be and minimum size of the sub. So that will be the minimum interference. So this distance that will be the maximum size that will be the minimum size of the shaft. So that will be providing a minimum interference and maximum interference when the difference between the minimum size of the hole so that will be conditions and maximum size of the hole. So that will be the maximum conditions of the interference fit. According to the classification of the fits, it will be having a three types of fits that will be considering as a clearance fit, transition fit and interference fit. So in my past lectures, I already explaining about the clearance fit, how it will be used into different applications for assemble of A and B 
and that will be having a sub clearance fit as a sliding fit with the examples and running fit with the examples so in this lecture i would like to explaining only about interference fits so interference fit we already discussing so that will be having a three sub interference fits first that will be the force fits second one tight fits and third one as a string fit so let us see types of interference fits force fit so that will be just you can see it is quite appreciable thus the assembly is obtained only by applying the high pressure so if that will be the one whole system is there and that will be the sub system is there so by the application of high pressure this shaft it will be fitted with the whole circle system so the parts are not to be disassembled during their total service life so that will be considering as a fixed joint never you can break during its life so basically you can find into the forging machines gear onto the shaft of a concrete mixers so these all are the examples of force fit so once you can assembles of component a with component b or you can say shaft with the whole systems so it never disengages or disassembles during their total life so that will be called as a force fit second one tight fit so just you can concentrate the parts may be replaced while overloading the machines so that will be having a flexibility if that will be over loading conditions onto the machines so that will be replacing by some another kind of components so basically step pulley onto their drive shaft of a convener that will be the examples of tight fit so according to my requirements i would like to change the different kind of pulleys onto that shaft systems so that will be assemble disassemble assemble disassembles and second one the cylindrical grinding machines so that will be also you can considering as a tight fit operations for assemble of the two components third one shrink fit so basically this type of fit offers maximum negative allowances so it requires considerable force for the assembly so once you heat your components that that will be cool down so that will be having a shrink fit so basically this type of fits offers the maximum negative allowance first that will be x1 then that will be compressed so that will be called as a shrink kind of fits so that are all regarding to the interfering fits that will be applicable for the different applications in the field of the productions and the measurement science so thank you very much